I've always been fit. I've always been healthy. This cannot be my life. And it was very difficult for to hear doctors say that, look, we don't know what to do. I knew this was not going to kill him, but I knew this was not going to let him live. I remember when he first told me that he's feeling a scratchy throat and living in Delhi, that's a fairly common thing to happen to us. He was on amoxicillin for it and uh, it didn't get better immediately and he kept, he got a bout of it again and uh, but even then we didn't really think it was something to think twice about. We were out three or four days of the week, uh, socializing, meeting people, going out for dinners and suddenly nothing, I, my entire life had become so limited. My life had become similar to what I had seen my grandparents' life to be right in the end where they needed naps to just get through the day. Months went by and I didn't see a smile out of his face. And this is a person who would smile at the drop of a hat. He's such a happy person otherwise. So because I had pains in the pelvic region and the lower back and my flank, my sides, um, sitting was uncomfortable. The first evening that I took my phages, I took phages at I think about 7 in the evening. And that night, uh, my wife and I had a, we went out for dinner and we ended up having a two hour dinner. And I realized at, through that dinner that I'm not feeling so uncomfortable sitting down. So. I told my wife about it and she said, oh, this is psychological, it can't have such a quick impact. What was it like to see him smile again? Oh, it felt like there was sunshine again. When something has stayed with you for five months as a health problem, uh, and you have one day when you are fine, the first day that you are fine, it's almost too difficult to believe that you're, you're fine. So it was almost like I wanted to kind of hold on to that day. Uh, but. The next day, luckily, I was fine as well. I don't think he got his full walk right now. Yeah. So that's why now he's going to be really restless. Yeah. Really the confidence that doctors had, that oh, okay, yeah, these antibiotics, they've worked for the last so many years, they should cure you. That confidence today seems so misplaced and on something which is regarding health of human beings.